Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 13th of February 1542, Catherine Howard, the fifth wife of King Henry VIII of England, was executed in the Tower of London. Catherine Howard, who was a cousin of Henry's second wife Anne Boleyn, spent much of her childhood in the household of her father's stepmother, the Dowager Duchess of Norfolk. Here she experienced little in the way of discipline and, after moving to the Dowager Duchess's household in Lambeth, began a relationship with Francis Deerham that ended after the Duchess was informed through an anonymous letter from her former music teacher. Shortly after King Henry VIII's marriage to Anne of Cleves, Catherine's uncle, the Duke of Norfolk, arranged for her to become a lady-in-waiting to the new Queen. Here, in the face of Henry's well-documented disappointment with Anne's appearance, the young Catherine soon found herself the focus of the King's affections. The two were married on the 28th of July 1540, less than three weeks after the annulment of Henry's marriage to Anne. Yet, despite Henry showering her with gifts, allegations of Catherine having an affair with the courtier Thomas Culpepper soon began to surface. Thomas Cranmer, the Archbishop of Canterbury, ordered an investigation that turned up a love letter from Catherine in Culpepper's chambers. Her previous relationship with Deerham was then discovered, and both he and Culpepper were executed for treason. Catherine was stripped of her title of Queen Consort and was later found guilty of treason for failing to disclose her sexual history to the King. She was beheaded with one blow from an axe on the morning of the 13th of February 1542 and her body was buried in the chapel of St Peter ad Vincula within the walls of the Tower of London. <laughs>